All job tasks and all units of competency include foundation skills. Just think about that for a moment. Almost everything we do at work has something to do with learning, reading, writing, oral communication and numeracy. It might be having a conversation with a client or a colleague, completing an observation record, or reading workplace health and safety information. Almost everything is underpinned by foundation skills. There are particular foundation skills that apply to particular job tasks, and they should always be addressed as part of a vocational training program. Trainers shouldn't just assume that learners have those skills, because even if a learner has good reading skills, for example, they may need support to develop the skills to be able to read particular documents or support to complete a particular type of report. So it's important that you make sure foundation skills are being worked on in your vocational training program. Each unit of competency should address those skills, but what are they? When you look at a unit of competency, it's not always clear where the foundation skills are. Without being fully aware, you may not fully address them. This video highlights how to draw out foundation skills in units of competency. This will help your trainers and assessors identify which foundation skills should be addressed when you teach a vocational training program. OK, let's use an example. This is an extract from a unit written for early childhood educators. These performance criteria have lots of foundation skills included. Here are the clues you're looking for. A central foundation skill in these criteria would be oral communication, engaging in conversations with children and responding appropriately to their needs. Those are very different skills to those used when engaging with an adult. Conversations with children require suitable language that's appropriate to their age and needs, a language that the child can understand and access. You'll notice throughout a unit, as well as this example, that there are trigger words that prompt you to think about foundation skills. With oral communication, words like respond, engage or talk with are trigger words. Trigger words are great at helping you identify different foundation skills. For example, words like allowance, measure and estimate are usually about numeracy. However, the term report, which often occurs in units, could refer to an oral report or a written report. As the trainer, you need to identify which foundation skill is being referred to in the context in which you deliver training. Further on in the same example unit, there are performance criteria that require the support and respect of children. These are skills that are not just about what you say, they're also about body language and nonverbal communication. Sometimes foundation skills will take some thinking about in practice. Performance Criterion 4.2 says, allow children to make choices and to experience the consequences of these where there is no risk of physical or emotional harm to the child or another being. That really requires a conversation with a child, providing options for them to choose from and having them understand the consequences of their choices. These are skills that need to be developed. You couldn't expect that someone new to such a job would have the skills to assist children to make decisions. We just looked at performance criteria, but it's important to look at the assessment requirements of the unit too. In the assessment requirements, the performance evidence and knowledge evidence sections will usually include some foundation skills you must draw out and assess. For example, in the unit we've been talking about, the performance evidence includes here, a trainer would need strong foundation skills in oral communication, body language, listening, and nonverbal communication. And the knowledge evidence says that the candidate must have knowledge of. Not really any trigger words here, are there? However, the National Quality Standard and the Learning Framework are written documents, so a candidate must be able to read key information in these documents and be able to apply the principles to their work. That's the foundation skill of reading. Finding the foundation skills in a unit takes a bit of thinking. A list of trigger words will help that process. It's really important that the relevant foundation skills are identified so that they can be addressed in vocational training. 
Developing these foundation skills should be an integral part of the vocational training program to ensure that learners develop the appropriate skills for their work.